What is up, y'all? I've got a Vileplume team today. I built this team around Vileplume, and I made it an After You Eruption bot. It's got Terra Ghost and Wide Lens. So what you can do is you can throw super accurate sleep powders, super accurate leaf storms, and avoid fake outs to get off these after use. Next to it, we've got one of my favorite ways to run Torkoal, Eruption and Helping Hand. Now it's got Covert Cloak as well, so it's also immune to fake out if you choose to Terra the Vile Plume, which can come in clutch a lot. And this Torkoal, it can erupt with after you. It can erupt under Trick Room because we also have an Indeedy Hattering Psy Spam mode. But also, it can Helping Hand. You can throw off massive Leaf Storms with Vileplume. You can throw off enormous nuclear-powered Ivy Cudgels with this Fire Ogre Pond. And you can throw off equally overpowered Terra Water Hydro Steams from this Walking Wake, which gets a speed boost, by the way. This is basically just Vileplume and four nukes. And then also Indeedy. And that's the plan. Uh, this Ogre Pond set is also a little interesting. It has Encore instead of a Grass move. We're gonna let Vileplume take care of all the water types, and we're just gonna have Encore so that when they bring out their fake outs to try to slow us down, we just spiky shield it up, and then we Encore them. Incineroar is a kind of a big problem for Ogre Pond, but it always wants to do that, and so you can just get it locked out. And then, like I said, Indeedy and Hatterene are the last on this team. They're just a good combo on their own. I'm probably not gonna feature them mainly in this because I want to use Vileplume. Anyway, let's get on with some battles. All right, here we are. They also have Fire Ogre Pond. They've got Rillaboom, they've got Farigarath, they've got Fluttermane, Incineroar, and Urshifu. Just such basic stuff, okay. First things first, can we erupt all over them? They do have a few resists to that, but I don't hate the idea. So I'm gonna go straight for it. They would have to Terrastalize Ogre Pond if they want to resist. Incineroar, of course, can resist, and I do expect they probably have that. Both of those, actually a lot of those, go down to Walking Wake, so we're gonna bring that. And probably just Ogre Pond. Just a full offense. We're not gonna go the Trick Room mode. We're gonna... They're definitely gonna bring Rillaboom just because we have the Psy Spam option. And they're gonna bring Incineroar. Because it's pretty good into both modes. A Walking Wake lead would be actually pretty interesting. But I want to use Vileplume, because this is the Vileplume video. This isn't the Walking Wake video. Maybe I'll put out a Walking Wake video later. Yeah, let's just go with it. I picked fast that time. Usually I'm thinking, but no. This is flower time. This is a hyper offense team with Vileplume. I want to just get KOs, and I want to just bring Vileplume. You should update your trainer card. Do something. Go take a cool picture. Farigarath and Incineroar. Okay. I guess we're doing it. Now your options. You could try to fake something out. And then you wouldn't set up Trick Room. This is their flexible lead. They were ready for Psy Spam. But we are just going to Terrastalize. We are going to after you the Torkoal. Or are we going to sleep Farigarath? Farigarath could be Goggles. Yeah, I'm just going to throw an Eruption turn one. I think that'll get us some good mileage. I don't think it'll knock anything out. But getting some good damage on the board would be excellent when they're not expecting it. So let's see. What is your reaction to this? Our Terra goes first, good. Nothing on their team should be anywhere near as fast as the Vile Bloom. This thing's racing around the map. And now the flower is dead. Uh, no fake out coming out from them, actually. So we just get the eruption. Didn't have to Terra. And big damage to Furigraph, love it. A knockoff into Torkoal does over half because of a crit. They see we were cloaked, and they just hyper voice. Okay. That's fine. File Bloom does take no damage. And they were throat spray on Farigarath. Okay. In that case, 
Would they be goggles on their ensign? I don't think so. They have two grass types. So I think I want to sleep that thing. And I think I will force you to go for another Hyper Voice. If you try to target into Vile Plume, I'm going to take out your Pericarath. We Sleep Powder. They did have safety goggles. Oh no! Sorry, Vile Plume. They got three immunities. Okay, that's fine, actually. Vile Plume did its job. We got some good damage with Eruption. Let's see if our backline can close it out. We do have a pretty scary backline. Walking Wake, Ogre Pond, Fire. Here we are with our mold breaking. And our protosynthesis speed. All right. What do they want to do? They don't want to take a hydro steam on their incineroar. And their safety goggles, so I would guess their terra is probably water. I could I don't think there's really anything better to do though other than to Hydro Steam it. That still does crazy damage. And I'll just throw an Ivy Cudgel into Perigarath. Yeah, I think I still want to do this. Oh, they're swapping. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Into Rillaboom. Oh, I should have gone the other way. But if I was going to Stomping that, it would have Hydro Steam does basically nothing to Rillaboom. Okay. Both of my mons have Protect, though, so it's fine. And there goes Ferrigarath. Okay. Now we're only down 3-2. Are they going to bring Incineroar straight back in to intimidate Ogre Pond? No, they're going to send in their own Ogre Pond. Well, then we have to double protect. Nope, not Encore. Spiky Shield. And our Ogre Pond is max speed, so we should be faster than their Ogre Pond. And they're going for a Terrastalization. Could it be a double Grassy Glide into our Water type? That might be the play they want to go with, actually. I could see that. After this, of course. That would mean my Encore next turn would go into a Grassy Glide instead of a Fake Out. All right, they do go for Fake Out, onto Walking Wake, and then what else do they throw? A Sword Dance! Oh, Lord! Oh no! Okay. I should have done some. Well, there's not much I could have done. Alright, we are gonna protect Wake again. Because Grassy Glides are coming its way. And then probably. Stomping into their Ogre Pond? I don't even know. Yeah. I think that's what I do. We don't get the double. Okay. If they're doing what I think they're doing. Ow! Oh, that's all they needed. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're too strong. And the Rillaboom also glided, which is good, actually. And then we get our stomping. It does pretty good damage, too. And the sun is gone. Oh, they healed first. They're also max speed. Unless I'm not max speed. That's max speed. Okay. So they don't know it's a speed tie, but I know it's a speed tie. So I think I just stomping them. And hope I get lucky. 
Yep, they just swap out their Rillaboom into Incineroar. That's fine, Rillaboom wasn't doing anything. So they just got it out of there. And they just spiky shield. Okay. That's fine. Now they have a couple options. Now if they see the play, they can automatically win if they see the play. Because they are going to go for Fake Out and Ivy Cudgel. And I am going to Spiky Shield to stop that. But they know I'm going to Spiky Shield to stop that. So instead they swap Incineroar out so they have Rillaboom to Fake Out next turn. And I have to read that. And I have to Stopping Tantrum. When you're down 3-1, that's what you gotta do. Oh, oh, they just attacked with Incineroar. Okay, but we won the speed tie. That's good. Then is it a parting shot or a flare blitz? It's a flare blitz. We take a ton of damage. I'm gonna be real, I don't think we got this one. The grass is gone just in time for them to get more grass. As down as we are, I'm keeping in it. Alright, now how can I win this one? Does Ivy Cudgel at minus one even take Rillaboom? I don't know. But first I Spiky Shield, and then I hope they mess up. That's the play. Would have been nice to be able to do some Encore shenanigans, but they just Flare Blitzed. Right, do something silly. Do something, do something wrong. Mess up here. No, they're just continuing to Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz will definitely take me out. It's conceivable that the Rillaboom only has Wood Hammer. So what we do is we see if we can live a Wood Hammer and see if we can crit a Stomping Tantrum into Incineroar. And I do think we need to crit the Stomping Tantrum. A crit Ivy Cudgel? No, that wouldn't be as much. Yeah. That'd be 150 if it crit. And then stab and half. 75 stab, 75 double. Yeah. I think we have to crit the stomping tantrum and then hope they don't have the right move. Ah, uh, but we don't get the crit. It's fine. U turn would not have taken us out though. Oh, that crit might have done it. Alright, let's try again. All right, that last game bugged out, but now we've got a Dragonite, Chen Pao, Incineroar, Urshifu, Water Ogre Pond, and Fluttermane. Kind of glad that other one messed up because they had a rain team. Okay, what is our plan for extreme speed spam? It is Psychic Terrain. What is our plan for Water Ogre Pond? It set up the sun. I think Vile Plume is not the best here. I think Ogre Pond is pretty cool here, actually. Um, if we just go Trick Room mode, can we win that way? Maybe. Honestly, that's not the worst. I'm gonna go Trick Room mode, and I'm gonna bring Vile Plume last. I just think that's funny. Is Vile Plume the optimal fourth in this slot? Probably not. I think Ogre Pond would be a little bit better. But that's what we're going with. Let's give it a shot. Vile Plume, let's get you some redemption. Prove that you deserve to be in this meta. Come on. Come on and choose some. We know you're just going to go Chen Pao and like Incineroar. Or Chen Pao and Ogre Pond. Maybe, if you're feeling weird, Ogre Pond Incineroar. Oh, a little Litten! Alright, show me... Fluttermane Incineroar. Oh! 
Okay. You're not going to be able to get rid of my terrain that way. And their Incineroar was slower than Indeedee, actually. And a speed boosting for me. Okay. What does that mean? That means I have no speed investment on it. That's fine. Follow me trick room is pretty easy. I like easy. Now let's see if you're pulling some weird imprison shenanigans. No, they have Calm Mind Flutter Mate. That's kind of terrifying, honestly. That's really spooky. And Snarl and Cineroar. Got it. Got it, got it. Okay. I would love, 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 love to get out to Torkoal immediately. It has the Covert Cloak, so maybe it's possible. Would a Calm Mind Flutter have Dazzling Gleam? I don't think it would. So we might be fine to just follow me and bring in Torkoal. Let's just see what happens. And with the speed boost on that Flutter Mane, they're also faster than Bioplume once Trick Room ends. Okay, good. Just to protect from Flutter Mane, and then presumably another Snarl. Which won't actually do as much as you think it will, Incineroar. Does a little bit of chip damage, but no drop on the Torkoal. Alright. Helping Hand. Eruption time. We gotta hit that Flutter Mane with everything we've got. We've lost, what, 17 HP? That's about 10%. So our eruption is only 135 power, give or take. But we'll double it with Terra. And we'll boost it with Sun. And we'll boost it with Helping Hand. If only we were choice fed. But then we would have got Snarl, so it's the same. Alright, Torkoal. Show them what you can do. Helping hand. Eruption. In the sun. With Terra. Please, 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 please. Fluttermane takes that pretty well. Just a flare blitz into the Torkoal. And a moon blast into the Torkoal. Okay. Torkoal's fine. Now we're gonna gleam and we're gonna earth power. I think Fluttermane just protects. Yep. I see that. It's fine. Earth power. Come on, do a lot. That did not do a lot. They snarl, but Torkoal dodges. Okay, he gets another turn. Indeedee, you are so weak now. But that's fine. <laughs> that Incineroar does not want its health bar moving. Okay. Trick Room turns. Last one. I think that's okay. I think it, I think it's a good time. Um, what about Sun? Only two turns of Sun. Well, Helping Hand Heat Wave is really the play. If you got something for it, go for it. Oh, of course you have something for it. You have just getting out of the way. Excellent. I wish I knew about that trick. Oh, and they both would have gone down? No! No! Oh, and an icy wind from Fluttermane. Okay. Oracle's down. They have icy wind and moon blast. This is our final turn of sun. 
Trick Room and Psychic Terrain are gone. I think I like Bioplume a little better than Hatterene. Though indeed he can redirect one move from the Flutter Main. We know it's full move set. They'd have to bring something in that can Oko Hatterene. And maybe they do, but we'll see what happens. And their last is Urshifu Dark. Okay. Can you Oko Hatterene Urshifu Dark? Let's find out right now. Do your best. Or your or your worst. Oh yeah, they're doing their worst. Uh-oh. Oh no, is that Terra Dark Wicked Blow? No, it's Terra Poison. Okay. Unless that's Poison Jab. Poison Jab would be really bad. Follow me. We'll take this Moon Blast. Goodbye, Ndidi. And then I'm thinking it's just Wicked Blow and they Terrastalized so that they... No. All right, Vileplume, let's get some dubs. They've got Typhlosion, the original form, Indeedee, the male form, Urshifu, the they-won't-tell-me form, Archaladon, and Terrakian Whimsicott. Terrakian Whimsicott is a little bit scary. If I were to go Plume and Coal, they could Tailwind, Protect, and then beat up the second turn. I wouldn't have any way to stop that. So I need to have Indeedee. Indeedee lead is mandatory. Now who with is open. I do think Trick Room is pretty good against them unless they go with that male Indeedee specifically to stop my Trick Room. They could be an imprisoned expanding force, honestly. And I think they might be. I think I'm going to go with Indeedee and Ogre Pond with Vileplume and Torkoal in the back. Walking Wake could be pretty good too. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's Indeedee and Walking Wake. No. Commit to your first thought, Jordy. Don't second guess yourself. Okay, and I'm expecting their Indeedy, and I'm expecting, I don't know who would be next to it then. If you're not going to go Terracot, I guess you wouldn't go Terracot if you see the Psy Spam mode. Just my guess. Oh, it's Typhlosion and Archaladon. That is not what I expected at all. We might be taking an eruption. That means we're gonna have to terrestrialize. I wonder if a helping handed plus one terrifier Ivy Cudgel can delete an Archaladon. But Stomping Tantrum into Typhlosion would be also very good. Yeah, as funny as that would be, I think taking out Typhlosion first is more important. We're not going to hit the Archaladon. So it's not going to get any stamina boost. Oh, and I went for Helping Hand. I don't think I needed that for the Stomping Tantrum. <laughs> Probably could have been a follow me, but it's fine. Embodying our aspect, helping our hands, and stomping our tantrums. They are not choice. They are just deleted. Okay. I mean, this Ogre Pond is a delete button, but... Whoa! Hang on! Steel Beam?! What?! Alright, you're, you're wild, man. 
You're wild. That's crazy. Okay. Now they got Whimsicott. Wow. What? Steel Beam. They are not a fan of Indeedy, huh? <laughs> Alright, now I'm just gonna follow me and I'm gonna... It would be so funny to just encore them into it right now. That would be so funny. It, would, it wouldn't be the play, because I could just knock them out with Ivy Cudgel, but it would be so funny. I'll just, I'll just end them with Ivy Cudgel, it's fine. Wow! <laughs> and it didn't even do that much. Okay, yeah, they do set up Tailwind. So the Encore play would not have worked. Just Steel Beam again. Meteor Beam this time. Are you Power Herb then? I guess you could be. Yeah, okay. Glad I went for the follow me this time. Wait. They had Stalwart. They missed Meteor Beam. That was almost brutal. Okay, that is a sick Archaladon set over there. <laughs> and they disconnect. Okay. That's a dub for Vile Plume, I guess. <laughs> Let, let's do some more. All right, we've all been there before. You miss a Meteor Beam, you chuck your switch out a window. That's just what you do. This time, we're going to be fighting Tornadus, Urshifu, Rillaboom, Fire Ogre Pond. There's that combo again. Fluttermane and King Gambit. We don't really have any stat dropping moves, so King Gambit's not too scary. But it does stop our Psy Spam. And so does Rillaboom a little bit. I think it'd be nice to have Indeedee, but I don't think I'm going to go with Indeedee immediately. Do I want to go Torkoal immediately, though, because they do have potential Rain Dance Torn? I think Walking Wake is cool. Maybe even Walking Wake and Torkoal. I also don't hate the Trick Room mode. But we're gonna go with... Something that can handle King Gambit. Alright, Walking Wake and something. Indeedee in the back. Walking Wake, Torkoal. Indeedee in the back. Probably not Hatterene. We're slow. Ogre Pond or Vile Plume. Honestly, they both seem fine. If they get up Rain, Vile Plume might actually be better. Do I actually think Vile Plume is better than Ogre Pond? No. But we're bringing Vile Plume. Because we are bringing Vile Plume. The logic is circular, like, like Vile Plume's body. Oh, cool card. Parish Ball Rayquaza. Rayquaza. Rayquaza? Rayquaza? Anyway, they've got Ogre Pond. And they've got Fluttermane. And we set up Drought for them. Our Protosynthesis goes first. We're Speed. And then presumably theirs would go next. And be Special Attack. Okay. Terra Water might save us from a Fluttermane hit. <clears throat> So we're going to do it. We're going to Terra Water, we're going to Hydro Steam, and we're going to put everything we have into it. Would that probably be enough so that I can just run a Heat Wave with Torkoal? I like Helping Hand, but I think Heat Wave is better here. Hopefully this Hydro Steam is enough to take out over time. It's Life Orb, it's Terra, it's in the sun. It's a lot of boosts. We are speed protosynthesis, but we still get the sun boost on Hydro Steam. And they also terrestrialize. Show me its Ogre Pond, please. That would be so funny. No, it's Fluttermane. It's just Fluttermane. And they're Terra Grass. Oh, watch out for this heat wave. Oh no, baby, what is you doing? Oh no. Oh, you got a little flower. No, I got a flower in the back. That's the only flower allowed here. All right, Hydro Steam. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. It didn't do it! Oh no. Okay, well. 
Okay, it's just a Dazzling Gleam. We take that pretty well, actually. And then an Ivy Cudgel into Torkoal. Yeah, I'm not erupting. Are you both gonna get gone? That was a crit, too. And you're both gone. No, Fluttermane's very tanky, wow. Okay, well, I will take that trade. <clears throat> I'm glad I didn't commit to Hydro Steam into the Fluttermane. Now they've got out Urshifu. And it's just water Urshifu, so I'm not actually that scared of it. Now, what do I throw out? <clears throat> Bioplume can take out that water Urshifu later, so I just want to throw a flamethrower at Fluttermane. I don't think I need any helping hand boosts. They could swap into absolutely nothing, so that's great. Flamethrower will take out something there. And then probably my best bet is to Earth Power. I don't want to swap. Maybe I do want to swap. Actually, I have Rocky Helmet and Didi. Yeah, I want to get out of here. Goodbye. You're gonna Surging Strikes. I'm gonna ship you back down. And not take very much because of the sun. All right, does your Fluttermane have Protect? Doesn't look like it. And now your Fluttermane doesn't have being alive. Respect for going Terra Grass and Shiny though, that's a cool combo. Fun combo, but a cool one. And show me Zerging, oh, it's just U-Turn. And Walking Wake eats it. Wow. All right. And your Urshifu is going to be coming right back in. Okay, they've got Tornadus. You can set up Rain, I guess. Your Urshifu is likely Scarfed because of the U-Turn, so it cannot protect. The Tornadus has a choice between throwing a Bleak Windstorm, which would go after Walking Wake hits, or a Rain Dance, which wouldn't really which would slow down Walking Wake, actually. I want to go Hydro Steam into Tornadus and follow me. Because they have to lock into something, and Vileplume can handle whatever they lock into. And to become faster. Alright, we go follow me. We didn't see a Protect. And they are just throwing a Bleak Windstorm. Okay. And Tornadus is gone! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Walking Wake, you are gone. Didn't need to follow me at all. Thank you for your service, though. You did big damage. And it's close combat. Okay. You go ahead and drop your little defenses there. Take a little Rocky Helmet chip and set me up perfectly for Vile Plume to destroy you. And Vile Plume's max speed, if you didn't know, is the exact point you need to be to be faster than Adamant Scarf Urshifu in the sun. So we're gonna Leaf Storm and we're gonna Helping Hand, which we absolutely do not need, and the battle is canceled and Vile Plume gets a dub. Oh yes, let's go. All right, after Walking Wake went crazy, Vileplume was able to close that out. And they just ran scared. They knew Vileplume was gonna win. This guy, Violet. They've got Chen Pao, Entei, Archaladon, Urshifu, Tornadus, and Rillaboom. They got the extreme speed spam. They probably got, oh, it's probably not Rain Dance this time. I don't know if they have any weather. No, they have Archaladon and Urshifu, it must be water. I take that back. It's definitely Rain Dance. Now, their answer to Trick Room is Snarl. Their answer to Torkoal is Entei with Snarl, which doesn't hit Torkoal, but Torkoal can't hit it. We need to bring Walking Wake in and eliminate Entei, or force it to Terra, and then sweep with Torkoal, probably next to Bioplume. So it's a Walking Wake lead. Torkoal in the back with Bioplume. And indeed, Walking Wake did so well, I'm going to go with that mode. Uh, I could also go with Torkoal on lead. I 
do like that better. Torkoal on lead with Walking Wake. Indeedy Vileplume. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like that. I think we can get some work done with this. I think we can do it. Just clear the way for Vileplume and let Vileplume go crazy. Update your trainer card, Violet. You updated your look. Get a new picture. All right, it is Tornadus and it is Archaladon. They are going to immediately turn off our sun. That's a little bit sad. But we can immediately take out <laughs> Oh, if they go for a dragon move, I want a Terra. If they go for an electric move, I don't. Oh, jeez. We get Torkoal out. I've got to throw something. <clears throat> I'm going to Hydro Steam. And I'm going to Helping Hand it. I am not Terrastalizing. <clears throat> this may be a mistake. I am weak to Tailwind here. No, they just Rain Dance. So I at least get my hit off. You're going to lose Torn or at least go down to a Sash. Hopefully I don't have to trade my whole walking wake for this. Okay, Tornadus is gone. If we can get Torkoal out, we can take weather control. They could be going after Torkoal, I guess. I hadn't considered that. But it's just Draco Meteor. Ouch. Okay. But you are also nerfed for that. So I don't think we're in the worst position. Is it Indeedy or is it Vileplume? I think it's Indeedy. We'll consider setting up Trick Room even. Having something like Skill Swap would be real convenient right now. Set the sun right back up. Who do you got? Who do you got? Because we've got Indeedy. The Unrivaled. It is Rillaboom. Terrible timing on that bring. Terrible timing, Rillaboom. That is not who you want to be right now. Alright, so we can Trick Room. I don't think it's the best play. Torkoal's absolutely swapping right now. If we Trick Room... I think Vileplume is slower? It depends on the speed. Rillabooms can be slower or faster than that. don't particularly need to keep it safe. I'll just throw a Dazzling Gleam for now <clears throat> and bring in Vileplume. Vileplume does not need to be kept safe because I don't think anything Rillaboom's gonna do is that scary to it. Just an Electro Shot from that thing. You're at minus one and if you're hitting a Grass type, you're not doing that much. Yeah, okay. Bounces right off. Bioplume OP. And then a U-turn. Okay. Take a little chip. Try to get your terrain back. We're having wars. I get it. I might want to get Indeedee back out. But I also might not care. Now they bring in Water Urshifu. Ooh, good Dazzling Gleam. Now, bringing in Torkoal and throwing a grass move at that might be too obvious, right? Is that too obvious? I think that might be too obvious. They're going to go to Rillaboom again. So I'm going to sludge bomb the Urshifu slot. Oh, it's that slot. Okay. I guess me reading their read was an easy read. We're reading Rainbow out here. Alright, I finally 
have weather control. Your Chaladon left, but he's not gonna come back. And Sludge Bomb leaves the Urshifu on one, uh, but they just U-turn the Torkoal. That's fine. That's fine. That was basically no damage. <clears throat> Now, we still have Terra. They still have Terra. I don't know if they would go for a fake out. But I want to erupt, and I want to terrestrialize after you. That blocks fake out, that lets eruption go off. I think we're in a good position. We're terrestrializing first, as we should. I imagine one of them might want to pop Terra here. They see that the After You Eruption is an option. They know I have Indeedee in the back. They might be hesitant to fake out anyway. But they go for it, and they don't terrestrialize. Vile Bloom, yes! Get that Torkoal and throw it at him! All right, one of you is gonna be Assault Vest. The other one is going down. Our Chaladon is assault vested. Rillaboom is dead. Goodbye, Rillaboom. And good riddance. Now, what are you doing? Draco Meteor into Torkoal. Which we eat. Beautiful. That is a snack. And you are severely weakened. They send in Urshifu. We've got an easy sludge bomb into that slot. And I guess we have to go into Indeedee. We go into Indeedee. We sludge bomb the Urshifu. Our Chaladon does not pick up a KO because it's so weak. Then we sleep powder, trick room with Indeedee, and then find a plan to get Torkoal in again. Yeah, that's the play. And battle was canceled. Good game, Violet. All right, we're back here with the rental code. We got some big W's for this little flower guy here. Actually, flower girl, this whole team is female. Hatterene's always female, and Dee female is always female. Ogre Pond's always female. Walking Wake has girl boss energy, I think. But anyway, I had a blast with this team. I hope you do too. I was actually building this at the same time I saw Poke Sports put out a Blossom team. So I can tell you it was not inspired by that, but that is a funny coincidence. So anyway, rental codes up there if you want to give it a try. I'm going to try to keep this up for, and all of my codes up, for as long as Reg F is the regulation. And uh, hope you had a good day. And uh, all right, peace. <laughs>